Life is just one hive of activity for bee expert Harry Thompson. Not only is he the beekeeping organizer for West Sussex, he also had his own apiary at Fishbourne. And there, most of his spare time is spent breeding the better British bee. The present-day bee of mongrel stock has many undesirable qualities, so he aims to produce a bee with a larger honey stomach, a longer tongue, a stronger resistance to disease, greater fertility, and a gentler disposition. First, he grafts the grub into an artificial queen cell cup. The artificial cup resembles as closely as possible the cell cup made by nature. The queen is, of course, the mother bee. And as there's no queen or brood in this swarm box, the worker bees will readily accept the grub and nourish it so that it becomes a queen bee. It takes eight days from the time of grafting before the grub changes to a complete queen cell. The cell has been transferred to a finishing box. It is now 12 days since the grub was grafted. The time has come for the box to be opened and the cell removed. Mr. Thompson has nothing to fear from these busy bees. His blood is now immune to their stink. It's the new queen bee that'll have to be protected. That's why the cell is put into a cage. Now, the Queen makes her debut. When she is three days old, the Queen is anaesthetized in a jar of carbon dioxide in readiness for insemination. Then, into the holder. She is blown down the tube so that she is half in, half out. Further carbon dioxide is fed to her through the rubber tubing. Now, over to the microscope. The male bee, known as the drone, is carefully selected. He is then taken from his hive and allowed to fly in a closed room where he makes for the window pane. When needed, he is just dropped into a jar of chloroform, then under the microscope for the extraction. After the operation, the drone dies, but there will soon be hundreds of thousands of new bees, for the queen bee can lay a thousand eggs a day. to six days she starts to lay her eggs. Gently she is blown out of the holder. Her next temporary home is the introductory cage. And this is where he makes a beeline for a queenless hive. The cage introduces the queen to the workers gradually, otherwise thinking she is dead, they might throw her out. He takes out a cone and fixes the cage to it. The cage has a hole at each side. The smaller, filled with grass, lets in some of the workers so they can get used to their queen. The larger through which the queen can get out is closed with candy. It takes them 12 hours to eat through this. By then, she is accepted. 40 years ago, disease destroyed most of Britain's bees. So colonies, many of an inferior kind, were imported. Today, a new strain is needed and selective breeding should help the queen bee to produce what may well become known as bees with pedigrees.